Hey guys, today's last sector is Bay of Drawing Wishes in the Dreaming City. There's going to be three unstoppables and two overloads. We're going to play an Arc Warlock today with the Crown of Tempest. We're going to have to build a review. We're going to have a Healing Rift with Ball Lightning and Storm Grenades. For our aspects, we're going to have Electrostatic Mind, so when you defeat a target with Arc Abilities or Jolted or Blinded targets, it will create a Psionic Trace and an Arc Soul, so when we use our Healing Rift, we will get an Arc Soul to help us get a little bit of extra damage. The fragments, we're going to have Spark of Beacons. While we are Amplified, our Arc Special Weapon Final Blows create a Blinding Explosion. Spark of Shock or Arc Grenades Jolt Targets. Spark of Discharge, Arc Weapon Final Blows have a chance to create an Ionic Trace. And Spark of Feedback, taking melee damage briefly increases our outgoing melee damage. For the weapons, we're going to have a Hand Cannon for the Overloads. Salamander Salvo because it has Demolitionists and will help us get our grenade back a little bit faster. And Leviathan's Breath to take out the Unstoppables and help with Overload damage. On the Artifact, we're going to have Overload Hand Cannon and Elemental Orbs Arc if you have it. And then Elemental Fury, so that when we stun a champion, it will take increased damage from our abilities and Elemental Orbs. For the mods, we're going to have an Ashes Asset, so when we get a Grenade Kill, it will give us more Super Energy. A Harmonic Siphon, so our Salvador Salvo can make us Orbs that are more potent. On the Gloves, we're going to have an Impact Induction, causing damage with our melee attacks to reduce our Grenade Cooldown. And Fire Power, your Grenade Final Blows create Orbs of Power. On the Chest Plate, we're going to have two Arc Resistances and a Void Resistance mod. On the boots, we're going to have a recuperation, so we gain 70 HP every time we pick up an orb. And a vigoration and innervation, so when we pick up an orb, we will get some of our melee and grenade cooldowns back as well. On the bond, we're going to have a powerful attraction, so when we pop a rift, we'll pick up all the orbs in the area. Taking a look at the Lost Sector run, there's going to be an unstoppable here right off the bat. I like to throw a grenade at the pool of enemies right in front of me. It kills almost all of them. For this unstoppable, it usually takes me three shots, but I have had it take two shots with Leviathan's Breath before. You just got to play it by ear. Once we kill that unstoppable, we're going to move up here to the overload. We're going to take it out with our hand cannon as well as a grenade. Once we get it stunned, we're going to kill it with the Leviathan's Breath. Once we kill that overload, we're going to come over here and stand on this rock. It is a great place to perch to take out the unstoppables because nothing here will aggro while you're on it. If you don't kill enough Screebs before you come up on this rock, it won't spawn the next unstoppable, and you just have to run around and kill the Screebs. The Titan video has a better representation of how I would prefer to kill all of the unstoppables, because it spawned both the unstops for me while I was on the rock. Once we kill all these Screebs, it will open the door to the boss room for us. Make sure when you're going in that you shoot the bombs. For the overload in here, we're going to use two Leviathan's Breath Shots and take it out. Once we kill the overload, we're just going to go back to where the boss spawns and let all the enemies funnel to us. We need to kill one more wave of adds and the boss will spawn. Once we get the boss to spawn, we're just going to pop our Chaos Reach. It will almost kill it, and we're just going to clean it up with our hand cannon, and then we can loot the chest. Happy farming today.